congratulations on three top five finishes. Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah, and yeah. honestly, <laughs> it would be four if we counted that continue racing leg, which I count. So let's take yeah, it, sure. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. I think uh, just the fact that we pulled it out from 11th to first on, on that particular leg or I think. 10th. Right. Yeah. Well, and really... that kind of goes to you, right? You found that red tile. What was the secret to that? Um, Basically when I showed up at that competition and to see that we had, we, we were on the same footing as Corey, like I saw Corey in particular and Corey was such a representation of like, I am in the same space at the same time as him competing for the same thing. And I could do it just as easily as he could. So that gave me a little bit of hope and then to get going. And I got a check on one tile immediately saw what I was missing and knew exactly what I was looking for. And I was just very in the zone and found it pretty quickly thereafter. So that gives you guys a first place finish. How does that affect your mindset? Um, it, was just validating because I don't think we ever felt like we were 13th 12th 11th I I didn't know I didn't think we were necessarily the strongest or the or the smartest team I did think we were scrappy enough to make our way to I don't know sixth place um so that was it was validating to work hard and have it pay off for sure so the U-turn, we see you guys made your vote for Steve and Anna Lee. What was the strategy there for you? Um, we had chatted enough with people at the airport to get a sense that there would definitely be some votes on Steve and Anna Lee. Um, I knew that we should probably take a shot at somebody a bit stronger, but I knew that votes weren't going that direction. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of... And the vibe was off with them. So I figured we had votes coming our direction. So I just, cro I knew, I knew there was at least four votes on Steve and Annalie. I wasn't sure about Rob and Corey. And so I just kind of crossed my fingers and hope we wouldn't see our faces on the sign. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised to see how close it was? Not particularly. Mm. Yeah, I just, I don't, there was enough of a chance to, to talk to other teams and get a sense for things that I don't think people were just going to throw a vote out there willy-nilly mm -hmm. so I had a I had a we were able to kind of suss out what had happened and we figured out who did go for us mm -hmm. um we were I wasn't upset about it uh but yeah I I figured it would it would be kind of close so we see you guys getting lost in this episode driving to the cave was that just kind of it? Was there no way to make up the time? Yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, once we got to the place and didn't realize it was the right place. And when you're on a Audubon in Slovenia, you're screwed, man. Like that's, there's no exits. Mm -hmm. There's no, there's no, you're just stuck there for, I don't know. It must've been, it felt at least like half an hour, 45 minutes. And then to find a back road to get back onto another Audubon, you mm. don't have exits like you do in America. That's for sure. Right. Was there any other issues on this leg? Um, I just got crushed in that little tchotchke challenge. <laughs> and that was not, like for my psyche to have everybody just like smash through that. Mm -hmm. I felt that felt pretty, I felt pretty beat at that point because I obviously struggled with it a bit. And it's just like, all right. Like these are some tough competitors for sure. I mean, even just seeing Joel shuffle his way right through that, no problem, you know, let the beard lead me. It was just like, wow, I just got so smoked. Um, and then getting lost on top of that was, was, a uh, time to just enjoy the scenery. Yes. Yes. Was there anything that surprised you about the race? I mean, you, you prepare, you, you think you, you know, have expectations, but what actually surprised you? The downtime, the downtime surprised me. Um, mm. you think it's like, I brought like 24 pre-workouts, you know what I mean? Like ready to just, and then they've got so much to set up from country to country with production teams, with challenges that I didn't take into consideration, um, the downtime that we would have. That there was um, more downtime? More downtime than I expected. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I would that would surprise me as well. I'd yeah. So like... you're just going from like yeah, 
from from like too chill to mm-hmm. like psychotic mission <laughs> with beautiful scenery and right. like and just who knows what's happening next and then back to solitude you know mm-hmm. what was the highlight of the race for you I would say the highlight of the race is really that we just got to tell Robin's story the highlight mm-hmm. of, of the race is that Robin gets messages now from all over America of people who are going into brain surgery tomorrow and they mm-hmm. saw her on the race and it felt like she was talking directly to them so mm-hmm. that was really our main intention for going on the race and what a cool way to share such a incredible story mm-hmm. so yeah that I would say that was the highlight and overall what was it like to do this race with her do it together Overall, doing the race with Robin was a test in both of our patients, Mm -hmm. um, just because we're, I think we deal with stress differently. Um, I think we both are more appreciative of our husbands now for (laughs) putting up with some of our quirks, if you will. Um, I am just really taken aback by, like, there are moments where I seem kind of clutch. I think when it really came down to it, Robin was like super duper clutch in in particular challenges um so i'm not surprised by her being able to like put her head down and figure things out so effectively um so i guess that that's my takeaway we kind of performed how i expected us to perform like me me on that little math challenge like i could have told you a million times that i would try to find a loophole and not have to figure that thing out on primetime television Absolutely. What you did. I mean, just do what you got to do to get through it. Yeah. So yeah, I thought we'd be scrappy and I thought we'd be strong and, and we did good. I thought. Absolutely. You should be so proud of you guys. It was lovely to watch you. I really appreciate your time today. Yeah. Thank you.